Hello, welcome. This is Kench1913, and we are starting a brand new Let's Play. Laptop Let's Play. And this is Let's Play Deja Vu 2. Uh, as you remember, if you do remember, I ended up playing Deja Vu with my buddy Rob. And there is a sequel, so I am going to play it. Sadly, Rob cannot join me for this one. But that's alright, we'll make the best of it. Anyways, I'm playing this on the Game Boy Color, because the game, uh, they, I, uh, I don't think I un ever owned Deja Vu 2. Apparently it was a, uh, computer game, and, uh, it never got ported over to the NES. Thank goodness that, uh, you know, Chemco here ended up porting it over when they did this, uh, Game Boy Color game, which is pretty cool. I, I like that. Anyways, like I said, I'm going to be playing Deja Vu 2. Uh, I believe it's called, like, Lost in Vegas or something like that. Anyways, let me just kind of run down quickly uh, about what the game, what Deja Vu 1 was about, because it's pretty much a direct sequel. Deja Vu 1, we were an amnia amniasic, I think that's the term, we were an amniasic detective named Ace Harding. Now, we didn't know that when we first started. Eventually, we figured out that we were Ace Harding, we were a detective, we used to be a boxer, okay? We were set up to murder somebody, we were set up to, for a murder that we did not commit, obviously, and what I'm happening is the mob was after a stooge or something from one lady, I don't remember the story 100%, but one lady and a guy basically set me, Ace Harding up and um, pretty much set him up to be a fall guy in the murder of a, of a prominent gangster guy. So we didn't do that, but we did owe the gangster guy money and stuff like that. I, I don't remember 100%. If you really want to know how the story went, definitely go check out the LP with me and Rob. Anyways, I'm going to try to make this as entertaining as I possibly can, being by myself. Usually Rob and whoever else is with me usually brings the fun. But, like I said, we're going to do this. Anyways, we're going to... Casebook 1 is Deja Vu 1. Casebook 2 is Deja Vu 2. So let's play Deja Vu 2. And, uh, yeah, this is Deja Vu 2. Uh, Lost in Vegas. So just like Deja Vu 1, we awake from a groggy stupor. The throbbing pain from the back of your head creates an uneasy sense of deja vu. You breathe a sigh of relief as you realize you do remember your name. Yeah, unlike the first game where we had no idea. Ace Harding, Private Eye. With that memory, the events from the previous 48 hours come back into focus. So that's us, Ace Harding there. We were abducted in Chicago by two thugs who brought us to the notorious Las Vegas mobster. Tony Malone! Word on the street head of the Malone and Joey Siegel, who, whose murderer you, current, you were recently cleared of, had some sort of connection. You discovered that Siegel was running rackets in Chicago for Malone. And now Siegel was dead, and one hundred twelve thousand dollars of Malone's money was missing as well. one to deal with Siegel Malone figured you were the one who left with his money. The Vegas monster gave you an offer you couldn't refuse. Either return his 112 grand in, in one week or there'll be a classic or else for you. And just to make sure you don't try any funny business, Malone's number one hitman, Stooge, Stoogey Martin, will keep tabs on you. Boy, this has not been my week. So there we go. You stand up and shakily wonder where that money could be. Now, uh, first thing I want to do, quickly grab your pants and trench coat. So you have a, a various set of things that we could do here. This is self. This is save. Uh... We have our items here. You can look at stuff. You can uh, interact with them. You can take them. You can open the door, close the door, speak, punch, and throw stuff away. So let's take let's take our pants, and then we can open the pants. And we have our wallet, which I'll take. Yeah, we 
got stuff here. Let's see. This newspaper clipping is folded, but you read the headline. Ace, Clear, Ace clears private eye name turn the table at last and mentions the address of Joe's place where Joey Siegel was murdered. Yep. So now we know Peoria. We got 25 cents, $10. Theodore Harding. So there we go. We got our, our name. Let's take out the money. Let's take out the money. Take out the dollar we do. Yeah, so this game... This game is all about, uh... Kind of item management. It's really fun. It was a fun game even back then. So let's see. They, I think they, uh... Yeah, take the key. And now the wallet is no more use. Can I put my pants on or no? Oh well. Let's take uh, our jacket. Our trench coat. Let's open this shit up and see what we got. So yeah, this is pretty much a blind LP. Never played this game before. Let's take out the gun. Let's go back. Should you use this on? How about yourself? I put my trench coat on. I put my pants on. There we go. We slip into our pants. All right, now let's uh, let's get out of here. So what we can do is hit open the door, and now we can walk out. One other way we can do this is we can hit the walk command, and we can even use this little map mini map right here. Oh, well, look at this guy, he's scary. Just remember, pal, I got instructions to keep my eyes on you. So don't be getting no funny ideas or nothing. Alright, that's, that's, uh, his name's Stoogie. Let's grab, uh, what the hell is this? Let's pick it up. Pick up the goddamn thing, whatever the hell that is. You take a cigar ring. Alright, what's that? A cigar ring! Alright, so yeah, this guy will show up at random points in the game. Anyways, we got the train. This is a train timetable. So yeah, we can go to Chicago. It's a cigarette guard holder. Apparently, Stoogie Martin dropped it. He's got to be the only goon who smokes this brand of smelly cigars. So yeah, that guy will appear randomly and tell us when our time's running up in the game. In the essence of, uh, in the essence of, uh, like, because this is a kind of a more of a timed game than the other game. So we let's uh, let's open up this stuff. Is there anything in there? Nothing. How about here? Ooh, there's a paper. Let's just look at it. Stoogie, the payment from L from La, L, L La is overdue. Check it out, and if necessary, lean on Galoni for me. Hmm, interesting. Now what the hell? Let's take it. Take the paper. Alright, so this game, I, from what I heard, is a little different. Because, uh... The, uh... Because, uh, it's... The thinking in the game is very different. Alright, so we're in the hallway. And you can hear the sounds of gambling in the distance. So let's go see the casino. Let's go right in. Open the door. Let's walk. No, I don't want to walk myself. I want to walk more. Alright, so, uh... Let's go 
go left and see who, see the chick who's the kid. Okay, so, sounds like this is the lobby. Let's see, can I take this? Do I need an ashtray? I don't know, I might. Let's go to the left here. Oh, there's a lady. She'll exchange money and chips. Alright. Give her ten bucks from your wallet. So, it looks like I'm already, uh... about anything else? How's it going, lady? Hey, toots! What's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? She doesn't reply. Oh, boy. What a, what a DB. Alright, so... Then roam the casino. Examine the black. Let's see what's over this way. The blackjack dealer says, Come on, try your luck. These cards are sure hot today. Uh, let's examine him by looking at this guy. This guy looks awful familiar. Let's talk to him then. Hey sir, do I know you? You know the rules of blackjack? Uh, yeah, I do. Let's look at this. Kowalski. Can I talk to him or what? Maybe I should punch him. Yes. What do I say no? Yeah, I know, I know. I know how to play blackjack. Apparently you're supposed to know who that guy is already. His name's Rudy, uh... Rudy Kowalski. And he used to be your old sparring partner. What's over here? Oh, I don't want to be outside. paper clipping that deals with him and he winks at you and bites to play. Alright, so let's show uh, Rudy the newspaper clipping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, items. Let's see, newspaper clipping. What are we going to use it on you? Table thing or the paper here. This doesn't say anything about Rudy. Well, let's see. I don't know what the 
hell I'm doing. Anyways, I'm going to stop the video here. In the next episode, we'll continue looking around the casino and whatnot. So this has been Kenji1913. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.